Oh, look, you can see everything. That's my car. That's the thing. I'm going to talk about it. So, hey, everyone. Um, my name is Ian. I am the proprietor of Gearhead Shirts, though I have nothing to show you to prove that. Because this is my shop, my garage, where there are lots of things, but there are no shirts. Um, and there's lots of things just sort of strewn everywhere because I'm really messy and I don't really keep track of tools or parts or anything. So let me tell you what I got. What I got here is a, uh, is a replacement rocker panel for my 1974 Toyota Celica RA21. Um, up on the old jack stands where she's been for a long time. Um, parts are thrown everywhere. They're in the basement there, wherever. Um, the first priority that has been the first priority for ooh, a year now is getting all of the rust replaced. Didn't think it would take this long when I started. Of course, when I started, I didn't know how to weld. I never, I never even used a grinder before. So there you go. You know my dirty secrets. I did not know how to do this until a year ago. And now I do, kind of, very badly. So, um, and even this is an exercise in what I think I'm supposed to do versus what I should probably really do. So, um, I'll show you a picture now of the old rocker panel, or at least the piece of it, um, that I am replacing. I actually had to cut this other piece off of it um, because it has a specific curve in it, and I'll show that to you in a picture here. Um, it's you can see it compared to the other piece, and the one has a curve, the other one doesn't. I want that curve back. I left it on the other side when I cut the other one off. I cut this one off before I knew any better. Um, so I'm going to have to take this long, thin strip of old rocker panel and graft it onto this new sheet metal rocker panel that I have um, before I go putting the whole rig back on the car. So what I'm going to do right now which you're going to watch and probably laugh at, is I'm going to cut along this seam right here all the way down. It's going to be an awful cut. It's going to be really bad. I'm going to do it with my four and a half inch heavy duty Harbor Freight angle grinder, which is what I do pretty much all my cutting with because I don't have an air compressor good enough to run an air power die grinder or angle grinder or whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, so I'm going to cut all the way down there. I'm going to try to go over, obviously, what I think I need, um, and then I'm going to grind back down to it. So I'm going to try to cut, I think, just on the high side of that angle, and I'll probably have to, yeah, I might cut just on the angle, because I've got plenty of angle left on the old piece you can see coming down to this edge where my arrow is pointing that this is the downside. So I've got a good quarter inch of angle left. Also a very bad cut, as you can tell. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try out this cut. Um, safety's first, obviously. I got some goggly goos. I got some ear muffins. And I got my gloves. Right. Here, my trusty old set of Harbor Freight gloves, which are dirty and disgusting, and they even have holes in them, but I'll still weld in them. I even bought a new pair, but these feel better, so I'll keep using them. I have this clamped on either side, so it's probably going to get really goofy in about the middle, and I may have to stop it and then, uh, and then start over again. So, And of course, I have shit on the floor everywhere, so I don't know the way I can actually do this. This scares the piss out of me, by the way, so... Um, not not cutting or anything. I'm not afraid of that. It's just that I might. Uh, this thing costs a lot of money. I spent like 80 bucks. And that's to me. That's a lot of money on a on a, on a sheet of metal. So uh, here we go.
two big pieces. Look, I probably most of the eighty dollars I spent was probably spent on this piece, and I don't even need it. It's this I need. Isn't that great? Yep, a lot of bends on this side. <laughs> Not a lot on this side. Anyway, that's step one. So the story of my automotive life right now can be summed up in pretty much one word. Same word that it's been for about a year. Grinding. What we have right here oh, that's good. What we have right here I like to call an organized disaster. Um, <laughs> I should have left I should have left more on this piece on this side and matched it up with the straight on this piece. Instead, I went right to the edge, as you can see, of that curved out piece, right to the edge of it, and went right to the edge of the other piece. And then I, I started looking at this piece that I cut, and I don't know if you can see it on the camera there, but it's way lower over here than it is up over here. So, uh, I was freaked out until I looked at this, and I said, wait a minute, uh, that's actually way lower over here than it is over there anyway. So they actually match up pretty good. So the next step, I'm just going to tack it in probably four places, five maybe, maybe just three. I, I want to be able to bend it, but I don't want it to fall apart. So. We'll see. I'll start out with three, and if I think I can do five and still bend it, just going to do little tacks so I can maybe be able to ply it around and get it in the position that I want to, and I'm not going to weld it, you know, fully, um, or at least tack it fully until I get it on the car into position. So uh, that's that for now. Probably have time to at least tack it and maybe set it up against the car. All right, so you can see now, get a little closer shot. See that this has an edge, an end to it. Try to focus. Uh, it's in the shadow there, but this one, both of these, I can't point with the finger you're holding the camera with, both of these have an edge to the end of them. Um, I've tried to kind of knife edge the the bottom side of that and the top side of this so they'll kind of fit together pretty nicely flatly. This doesn't go all the way to the end when you line it up but that's okay. Um, don't worry there's no gas in those gas cans. They're just old ones I picked up at a garage sale because they look cool. Uh, anyway, so you can see it's kind of bowed a little too and I'll just, I'm just going to tack it on one end, tack it on the other end and then uh, um, you know bend it to the right position and tack it in the middle. I get the feeling that you're not going to see much of this, but I'm going to do it. Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to go through here. I got 23 gauge wire. I got a 75-25, I think, 90-10. I don't even know what my mix was, to be honest with you. Then when I filled it up, I got a huge tank. I filled it up a long time ago, so I think it's 75-25. Um, I have my old Snap-on. Used to be a body shop welder. I uh, bought it off Craigslist for 250. It's a good welder. Just got some Jerry rig parts on it, which is fine. I'm fine with that. Um, that's how most of my life is, Jerry. Rig. So um, here we go. Hope I don't screw it up. Too much shit on my shop. Alright, the memory card ran out there, so sorry about that, but um, I just wanted to flip it back on tell you guys that I think I'm going to record every time now because I honestly don't think I've ever done anything so well on this car to this point. 
I mean, look at how straight that is. <laughs> this, I'm, I astounded even myself with this one. It really came out nice. I mean, all I'm going to have to do is, you know, you obviously I have gaps, you're right, but I'm going to tack it down, keep tacking it in between, and then I'll probably just grind it down smooth, flush, and then, um, and then put, you know, some filler on it, all metal first, and then probably Bondo, and smooth that right out, <laughs> and I think this is going to look great. I mean, honestly, I've not done anything so well the entire time I've been working on this car, so, uh, I guess thanks, and, um, that's going to be it for tonight, because it is, well, it's only 8.30, but, you know what, it's still hot out here, it may only be 80, but it's pretty hot in this garage, so, I'll, uh, I'll leave you with this beautiful sweeping panorama of this hunk of crap. Um, and someday it will hopefully not be such a hunk of crap due to beautiful, beautiful work like what I did there, uh, not due to the cleanliness of my shop in any way. That over there is a 22RE, uh, or 22R block, and then the makings of the fuel injection that I've just torn apart. Um, sure, quick guided tour, why not? That's the pegboard with a bunch of shit on it. Hey, there's proof. Look, look. For those of you who've been around with Gearhead for a long time, see I made that. That was the very first design that I made for Gearhead. Maybe the second. Might have been the second.